black hole was discovered while ripping a star apart and now, astronomers might be able to learn more about how supermassive black holes form from the event. As it spaghettified an unlucky star, scientists discovered a black hole. After the star wandered too close, the intermediate-sized black hole in the galaxy SDSS J152120.07 plus 140410.5 snared and shredded it, emitting a powerful beam of light that was used by astronomers to locate it. The Young Supernova Experiment a three-year survey of the sky with Hawaii-based telescopes that detects brief flashes from cosmic events like supernova explosions, was used by researchers to identify the flare, which was given the designation at 2020A. On November 10, the discovery was published in the journal Nature Astronomy by researchers. First author Charlotte Angus, an astrophysicist at the University of Copenhagen said, the fact that we were able to capture this mid-sized black hole whilst it devoured a star offered us a remarkable opportunity to detect what otherwise would have been hidden from us. Moreover, we can use the properties of the flare itself to gain a better understanding of this elusive group of middleweight black holes, which could account for the majority of black holes in the centers of galaxies, the researchers added. Black holes are a messer's food. A tidal disruption event, TDE, is a phenomenon that occurs when the powerful forces of the black hole's gravity act upon the helpless star when a black hole consumes it. A star will be stripped and stretched layer by layer as it falls inside a black hole as is caught by its gravity and pulled ever closer to the hungry giant's mouth. The star is transformed into a long, noodle-like string of hot plasma by this process which tightly wraps around the black hole like spaghetti around a fork. Plasma accelerates as a result of the process, resulting in a massive jet of energy and matter with a distinctive bright flash. Afterwards, optical, X-ray, and radio wave telescopes make it possible for astronomers to locate this flash. The newly discovered black hole falls into the category of intermediate-sized black holes which have masses between 100 and 10,000 times that of our Sun. This makes it one of a very small number of black holes. Middleweight singularities, according to scientists, eventually evolve into supermassive black holes by consuming gas, dust, stars, and even other black holes. Long trains of matter that revolve around supermassive black holes which are frequently millions or even billions of times more massive than the Sun, use them as anchors. However, it is unknown whether these trains originate from intermediate black holes. Dwarf galaxies that emerged from intermediate black holes in the early universe, according to one theory, eventually merged with the larger galaxies and black holes we see today. Astrophysicists must determine the number of middleweight black holes in existence to determine whether or not this theory holds water. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comment section. And if you enjoy our content, and never want to miss a video, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.